Hey everybody, what's going on? Marty here with Everyday X Shay. I wanted to make a real quick video and talk about the water pump or the cooling system on the X Shay a little bit. Now I know a lot of y'all have already seen my water pump install, and I'm not going to cover that. But what I'm doing right here is I'm finishing up, and what I want to talk about is why you use distilled water in your cooling system on your XJ. Okay. Now if you look right here, apparently I've had a leak at some point in time, so my thermostat neck the upper water neck and stuff like that it's got corroded and oxidized and a lot of that's due to the chlorinated water that comes out of your tap system and what happens is with that chlorinated water inside your cooling system it causes rust it causes it causes it inside of the engine uh, it oxidizes and corrodes uh, the heater core and it's just not good and also this is a good way to tell if it's, it's starting to rust inside the engine. You get this dirty, mucky, nasty antifreeze. It's really not worth nothing. Look at all that sediment. That's piss poor. I'm glad I caught this when I did. Uh, yeah, because that could just end up being a big, big, big headache going through and flushing the whole system, which I probably need to do, but I'm just really short on time. Uh, the later date, before it starts getting really cold, I'll probably do it. And all the funk you see, that's just from me grinding and cleaning the uh, old gasket off the mating surface for the new water pump. So what you do is you want to get antifreeze. The XJ takes a gallon and a half antifreeze and a gallon and a half of distilled water. And the distilled water doesn't have all the, the chlorine and all that other fun crap that comes out of your tap. And here's the old water pump. You know, you can see it. It's pretty gooey and nasty, and you don't want that. So make sure you get 100% antifreeze. Now I don't recommend getting the 50/50. Um, if you just need to top your system off, 50/50 is fine. But I, I really wouldn't go a 50/50 for the whole system, um, just for the fact that when you drain your radiator, you don't get all the water out of your cooling system. There's still a lot of water left up in the block, a lot of old antifreeze. And if you add 50-50 mix, you're pretty much diluting the 50-50 mix with the old water and crap that's already in it. So I always get real antifreeze when I do a complete fill. Also, always fill your radiator first and you fill the block first. And that way you can kind of dilute the antifreeze and water that's still in your block and make it a little bit stronger and more antifreeze. And then, uh, then I top it off with distilled water. So... Guys, girls, I hope this made sense for you. I hope this maybe helped you all out. Uh, don't use tap water in your x ray because it's not good and your x ray doesn't like it and it ends up being a whole lot more work at a later date when you have your radiator full of goo and muck. So, guys and girls, I'm Marty here with Everyday x ray Please like and subscribe and I'll holler at you guys later. See ya.